I chose to do a master's because I um, was made redundant uh, from my job in the telecommunications industry and I decided I wanted a career change. And uh, microsystems, nanotechnology, I found particularly interesting. So uh, I decided to take uh, the Cranfield degree. I chose the microsystems and nanotechnology degree because it's an interesting area. It's still relatively young and there's a lot of work that can still be done and it's good to get in at the foundation level as the technology is being improved. The course itself was split into three parts, a taught element, a group project and an individual project. Um, the, I particularly enjoyed the individual project where I did a joint work with uh, an outside organisation on uh, atomic force microscopy. The group project was also quite interesting, it taught us to work as a team and a group on a particular element also linked to an industrial project and the taught course showed us aspects of nanotechnology and microsystems and made us think about things in a different way. One of the things I liked most about the course at Cranfield was the staff to student ratio. Uh, because the degrees have only a, a uh, not up to nine people on them, the uh, ratios are quite high. And it means that you have more time to talk to the lecturer, ask questions, and the pastoral care is good. I would recommend the course at Cranfield. The university itself is both academically and industrially relevant in the work it does. The facilities are very good. We have clean rooms and laboratories. And the staff to student ratios are good. So the pastoral care and the lecturing are very clear. Having completed the masters, I then undertook a PhD in microsystems and nanotechnology. And I'm now working as a postdoctoral researcher at Cranfield on some very interesting projects.